Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank. You are listening, caring partner. The achievements of any business or organizations are a combined effort of each and every individual. Join us as we meet Alex Nyaga, the CEO of Parapet Group of Companies, who believes that any idea can be turned into a business venture. This and much more only on Road to Success. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our guest is Alex Nyaga, the CEO of Parapet Group of Companies. Karibu sana, Alex. Asante. Wow, Parapet Group of Companies. Obviously, it didn't start as a group of companies. How did, you, how did your story begin? Parapet's story started 16 years ago um, in, uh, at an office in Wilson Airport, where we're currently at, in a two-room uh, office. And it started as a, initially as a, as a hospitality solutions company with big dreams. And uh, when we started with those uh, big dreams, it was our intention to be able to look at uh, servicing commercial property cleaning uh, units at that point when uh, in, in, in the country then is that we had a lot of uh, uh, companies looking at outsourcing their NANCO functions. It was a global uh, phenomenon that was happening at that point, and it just came at the right time. Why the name Parapet? What does that mean? Well, we're looking for a name that actually defines high cleaning. Anything that's at the top in terms of, when you're looking at to be the best, you need to look at what's at, at the top. So there was no, we did not have options of high cleaning services or top cleaning services. It's too cliche. And we looked at something that uh, probably has that definition. And parapet is actually a building definition okay. of a parapet wall. A parapet wall is the highest point of a building. Uh, there's a low-lying wall that surrounds every building that's put up. And that's called the parapet wall. So we have this parapet wall. And we have our bird is our emblem, which is flying over this parapet wall, aiming for distinction and excellence. This is not what you studied. This was not part of the education that you acquired. I've been in this service industry. Uh, I did hotel management uh, in La Roche, in Switzerland. And when I got back, uh, it's, it's part of the courses that I, I got to cover when I was in school. And uh, housekeeping itself is synonymous with uh, cleaning services. And it's just a matter of now not cleaning in hotels, but I was cleaning in, in, uh, in commercial properties, in retail centers, in homes. Mm -hmm. uh, so all your soft furnishings at home, uh, car cleaning, those are part and parcel of what we used to carry out that then. Having just come from um, college, graduated from college, you decided to get into the parapet business. Well, how did you market yourself? Well, uh, f for starters, we actually looked at uh, going out and just looking for one good client. And that one good client came on board. And it was a large uh, assignment where this particular parastatal was looking out for to outsource its entire operations. The cleaning The services. cleaning services. Okay. And uh, it required a, a, quite a huge uh, staff uh, complement of about 100 people. And that's how we started it off. We, I had some uh, experience in that field within uh, air, working airfields and stuff like that. So it was easy to just penetrate and get a team that was sorted out there. Uh, we competitively bid. Uh, I was very ambitious. Um, then I was 22 years old. So I was very, very ambitious in how we set out to do our things. And the job came through. It was a big contract. We won it, and um, 
three months down the line, we lost it. The tough lessons that we learned during that point uh, taught us that in business, you got to crawl fast before you could run. It was a painful experience because we had heavily invested in that within that business. And uh, all of a sudden, we're out in the streets trying to look for any job that can come through. The crawling we started, and once we started crawling, uh, would get gigs from cleaning uh, carpets in people's homes to detail car cleaning. In fact, a lot of uh, my, uh, my friends, I got a lot of support from friends at that point to be able to just give you a car to clean and we yeah. get paid for it. Yeah. And uh, I remember a lot of my friends that we, we've ended up having to uh, I used to go collect their vehicles in the offices, bring it in for cleaning and then take it back in the evening. It was a very enjoyable thing and I still do it up to today once in a while. Tell us, how many employees did you start with? The first project we had, we had a hundred staff. hundred staff? So yeah, it was a large number. Uh, so the operational wise and logistics wise, it was a nightmare, but we managed it. And uh, then thereafter when there were deals went sour, we had to scale down. And when we scaled down, then we started building our team from there. Uh, we had a lot of uh, commitment that came through from a lot of our staff, especially the management staff then, who opted even to give uh, their services for free just to get this company up and running. But I did not start this company by myself. We started five of us, yeah? five directors and shareholders of the business. Yeah. And uh, a lot of them have continued uh, and, and we're still the same solid team. And uh, we've, 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 we've built this company together with one vision, with shared vision, uh, with a lot of commitment from my board of directors who also double up as my mentors. How many people do you work with? Currently we have a staff complement of about 2,000 plus staff. What? Starting off from 100 to 2,000? Yes. Major. Uh, it's been a tremendous growth uh, throughout the years. Um, and year on and we are we, we continue and thank God for the growth that we've had this far. Alex, we must go on break, but when we come back, we'd like to know what kind of services you offer. And then, because you've, you've told us about your growth from a limited to a group of companies, I'm sure everybody wants to know how mm -hmm. did you get to that? Mm -hmm. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. The new Equity Auto Branch MasterCard with PayPass lets you enjoy a faster, cashless, more secure card experience. You can tap and swipe your shopping, pay your bills, and fuel at no charge. You can also withdraw and deposit cash at equity agents and ATMs countrywide and access your bank account from any MasterCard outlets worldwide when you travel. Visit your Equity Bank branch today and get yours instantly. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our guest is Alex Nyaga, the group CEO of Parapet uh, Group of Companies. Karibu sana. Asante. Alex, in the, uh, earlier on you had uh, talked about the different services that you offer. Perhaps you can tell us in details uh, what it is. What is Parapet about? Well, Parapet Cleaning Services uh, has... Uh, uh, many businesses that it, it, it offers. Uh, first and foremost, our key business line is uh, commercial property cleaning. Uh, in all the buildings, the commercial buildings that you find uh, uh, mostly serve under the retail centers, the shopping malls, um, embassies, uh, um, UN agencies and so on, banks. So it's 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 a uh, that, that's a commercial uh, property unit that we serve. Then we also have the uh, pest control and uh, fumigation services that we provide for both to homes and uh, to commercial entities. Then we also have uh, waste management uh, solutions where we collect garbage uh, in, in, in only in corporates uh, in corporate facilities. Then uh, we also provide the detailed car cleaning uh, solutions. Uh, this is where we clean your car and bring it back to showroom look. And that facility is handled at, the, at our Wilson Airport uh, branch. 
Um, then we also carry out uh, uh, gardening and landscaping services. Yeah, and finally there is uh, washroom solutions through the ladies' sanitary bins and uh, air care systems within uh, the washrooms. You are now um, a group of companies. How did that uh, come about? And what does that mean when you, you call yourself well, a group of companies? Perfect group of companies now. Uh, it's three companies. We have, of course, the flagship, which is Parapet Cleaning Services. Then we started the Parapet Hospitality and Business Institute. Parapet Hospitality and Business Institute was started two years ago. It's uh, situated on uh, Eagle House on the fifth floor on Kimathi Street in town. And uh, this particular facility came up as a need when uh, we had, I mean, a, a lot of the staff that we get to hire from parapet cleaning services actually come from the hospitality industry. Now, the challenges that we faced when we hired the staff was that they were very sharp theoretically, but not practically. So we started a training facility which would end up having to meet the need for, uh, for, the, uh, for, for the training and, and the practical training. And that's where the birth of uh, Parapet Hospitality and Business Institute came about. And the third business yeah. is uh, Parapet Energy. This one is just fresh out of the bakery. Uh, it's, um, it's a waste to energy solutions company. And ideally, we're looking at, uh, with the counties out there, we're looking at waste to energy solutions uh, where we can use what is uh, considered to be waste and uh, turn it into energy. So we are currently even hiring for, this, uh, for the teams to be able to actually do that. And uh, we're looking at expected expertise within that field to actually build uh, that business. Where can we find you in the country? We are in all the major towns, Mombasa, Kisumu, Nakuru, Eldoret, uh, Meru's, Nyeri's, uh, Afaraskericho, Kisi's, we are in all those places. And uh, recently we've also expanded into Uganda. We have Parapet Uganda Limited, which, uh, which is serving some good premium clients there. And what is even serving well for the Parapet Uganda office is that uh, it's, it's, uh, we have a lot of Kenyan businesses that have invested in Uganda and who we happen to also serve here in Kenya as our clients. So the expansion has been easy in that particular area. Later in the year, we'll also probably be looking at Rwanda and later on Tanzania. And uh, who knows, our vision is, 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 is big. Uh, in fact, our vision is being the preferred cleaning and allied services solutions provider in Africa and beyond. So we're not even just looking at Africa, who knows, we may be in Asia and other places. What advice would you give an upcoming entrepreneur? I mean, you've been in business for 16 years, you've, you've learned a lot, what, what, what advice? Anyone who wants to come into business, it's never easy. The journey is hard, but the rewards are great. And uh, it's called for a lot of resilience and a lot of hard work as long as it's driven by passion. If you are passionate about something, it will ride. And I, I believe a lot of people, and I've watched a lot of entrepreneurs go to where they are today because of their desire to do good. And as long as you have that desire and still burning in it, then now you'll be able to actually succeed in whatever you set out to do. Alex, what are your greatest achievements, having been in business for 16 years? So we are a nice certified company. That's one great achievement that we've, we have proud of. We are also a three-time you know, of uh, the top 100 uh, cleaning companies in Kenya. And uh, we are also, I got a personal achievement, uh, my top 40 under 40. Uh, businessman recognizing this region. Finally, Alex. Um... Your vision. We want to be the citizens of change within Africa in, in creating a brand that is African and that has no limitations to where it is that we're limiting ourselves to Kenya. We are looking at international. We have a great nation, we have a great country, we have a great leadership and it's only the onus is on us to be able to create opportunities that are out there and to plug in and to build businesses that will outlive us. And for me, the Parapet brand is on its way there. 
and God willing, we'll get there. Alex, I do not doubt that what you, what, what you desire for yourself will come to pass. You really, you are truly living proof that dreams are valid. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me. Yes, Asante. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner.